Okay, let's do it. New video, Sue Bird. Four-time WNBA champion, 12-time All-Star, five-time All-WNBA first team, three-time All-WNBA second team, all-time assist leader, five-time Russian League champion, five-time Euro League champion, and four-time Olympic gold medalist, hopefully five times soon. Suzanne Bridget Bird was born in 1980 in Siuset, 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 New York, which I had never heard of before now, despite growing up 32 miles away. Looking at it on Wikipedia, I see that it is a suburb with a large Jewish and East Asian population and is also the birthplace of Ian Matthias Bavitz a.k.a. Aesop Rock. Little side point. I love Aesop Rock, and I wanted him to be Jewish OD. And Ian Matthias Bavitz, there's potential. Unfortunately, I began to doubt after listening to Holy Smokes off Fast Cars, Danger, Fire, and Knives, which is a great song with amazing blockhead production but in it he talks about his relationship with Catholicism. Yeah, his wiki says he was raised Catholic but became agnostic. Maybe I'll do a little video on that someday. Unfortunate. But at least LP is Jewish. And maybe Cage too, I think? I don't know. Anyway, back to Sue. Her parents are Nancy and Herschel Bird. According to Sue, Nancy is Protestant, but her father is a Russian Jew. Um, my dad is Jewish, so my whole, you know, the whole, my whole father's side of the family is Jewish. And my mom is Protestant Christian. And their original last name was Burda. Which is close enough for a change, actually. Came through Ellis Island, like, what's your name? You know, Borda, Bird, boom, go through. And that's how Bird came about. She further specifies in an interview that the area her father's family is from is currently in the Ukraine, which would technically make him Ukrainian. As we know it now, it would technically be the Ukraine, uh -huh. but like, you know, obviously back in like the early 1900s, it was just Russia. Um, eventually Soviet Union and then eventually Ukraine. She was not raised religious and did not have a bat mitzvah. She is the Christmas and Hanukkah type, but don't hold that against her. It was kind of cool. I got the best of both worlds. You know, I got to celebrate Easter with one side of the family and then we would have Passover dinner on the other side. She was drafted number one in 2002 for the Seattle Storm where she has played her whole career, which is old school. You love to see it. And I'm sure Seattle does too, which another little side point, bring back the Seattle Supersonics, you know? It just makes me OD sad to see those old dudes and their signs. Anyway, she has dual citizenship with Israel, which she uses to play in the Russia League. So as an American, if you have ancestors, if you have any connection to another country, another culture, if you can get a passport, it can be really advantageous for your career. So obviously for myself, you know, my father being Jewish um, and still having relatives who live in Israel currently, mm -hmm. that it was an easy connection. I made Aliyah. So part of it was being just immersed and live, basically living there for a little bit. And it was, it was one of like the best experiences. Alicia Clark on our team, she also has Israeli citizenship. Um, she plays on their national team, actually. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm too distracted right now. The reason people play in the WNBA and in European leagues is because the WNBA alone doesn't pay the bills. In one article I found titled Rolling in Ruples, 
from the prehistoric early 2000s. It says Bird was making $93,000 a year in the WNBA, but earning four times that playing for a Russian team during the offseason, plus a $5,000 bonus for beating a good team, a free six-bedroom house with a pool and a sauna, and a car with a personal chauffeur. Diana Taurasi also used her Italian citizenship to play for the same team, where she was allegedly making 10 times her $49,000 WNBA salary. And all of this was, was, was back in the Stone Ages when money still had value. Honestly, I, I salute them for playing in the WNBA at all. <laughs> That's crazy. You should really read the article. I'll link it down below. I love how Americans used to write about Russia after the Soviet collapse, but before we realized we still needed, you know, an enemy to, to scare people into putting up with our shit. The biggest geopolitical threat facing America, you said Russia. Not Al-Qaeda, you said Russia. In the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back. But yeah, she has dual Israeli citizenship, but thankfully still plays for the good old Jew S of A, because we need her. She didn't really ball out against Japan like that, but they were, uh, they were surprisingly good, especially in the first quarter. But yeah, Sue got, uh, well, she shot one for eight, but she did get six assists, four rebounds, and two steals. And we'll definitely need her to stomp the rest of the world, which we definitely need to do because yikes, look at the medal count. So is she Jewish? Yes. Karyite rules are in effect. Paternal lineage counts, you fucking dweebs. Anyway, thanks for watching. No respect.